Spanish. From where we come from, we know that police are there to get the bad people, right? Now, the fact that you are a woman, no, I don't need notes, my brother. Thank you so much. The fact that you are a woman and you've been placed in a position of authority, what does that say? You see, the problem is that us as women don't want to acknowledge the power we have. Mamelan, I can sue women, go, mom. I can sue women. Take your right hand and place it on your womb. Now, I want you to do that because you are carrying power. You are carrying power right there. Because you are the only living species that can bleed for five days but never die. You are the only living species that can receive a seed and it stays and grows within you for nine months. Then you are able to push. So the problem is that we don't know the power that we have. A man needs you for procreation. A man needs you to enlarge the country. But what do we do? We take our womb power and we use it for nonsense. In my pants. We use our womb power for nonsense. Because we say things and they happen in a bad way. Because God trusted us that much to give us that power within ourselves. The fact that you can have, take a seed and it germinates within you and it grows and it becomes bones, guys, bones, 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 nails, hair in you. Men don't have that power to do that. It not be very Whether you receive it, you saw it, it germinates, and then everything else grows. And when you push, it's bones. Mamelan, bones. Bones, itambo. That should show you, Uguti, you are birthed for such a time as this that nothing should move you. You should fear nothing. You should be able to stand your ground because there is no alive species that can push out living bones. Dry bones rise up from your womb, from your belly, but you do not see the power you have. Let's normalize telling each other that no, I am not going to be part of the nonsense you are doing. Instead, because we buy friendships, you will conform. You will conform. You know very well what my sister is doing is it does not seem. But because of conformity, you choose to keep quiet and go along with the show. You know what happens when you do that as a woman? You are the one that is killing the generation yet unborn because you have the womb. The seed of the parents will fall on the generations unborn. They're talking about that. It means when you give birth, you give birth to poison. Because you can still keep it in door and go around speaking it doesn't have ceiling. I'm in a band. Come on, Let's normalize speaking about truth. Let's normalize so good when a woman says this man did this to me. Let's rather keep quiet than for us to speak nonsense. Because we are the very first ones to say, why talk now? Why has a kunma manja 10 years later? Ube tunele ni sokele skati. Ayu ya na mela mfuna. Uze watata ne video. Watata ne recording. Kana ikipa manja doti. No, it doesn't make sense. You receive it, it grows, you back it, then you are the very one to speak nonsense. It doesn't make sense. I've been attacked by women. I've been vilified by women. Some women were saying, I was in the Smith's cat, I tell you, I some of them were saying, no, Sister Smithy is very famous because she slept with all the pastors in the world. Wow. And then 
Why? Sister Spicy was victimized, abused holistically by the religious sect. Do I hate the church? No. Do I hate pastors? No. Am I against the church? No. What am I standing for? I am saying, this happened to me in a 16. 20 years later, I am speaking. I am 36 years old. And I'm saying, how many other Sikhismises are out there who have been through or are going through what I went through, but they are too afraid to talk? And I am saying, we are giving you a platform to speak. Let your voice be heard. So does that mean we expose pastors? No. What do we do? We bring forth restoration and rehabilitation. How do we do that? We are blessed to have the legal fraternity. Some people will come with us with, to us with cases. There are so many times, oh, Captain Moeha, where we speak at night, Mr. Captain, there's another case. Because there are women who are police women who are in authority that have time to listen to Mundo Jemosi Kismis. Abanya will say, hi, it's not my jurisdiction. Hi, I'm wasi. Hi, no. And what happens? We verify cases. When cases are verified, we will never stand in the, in, the, in the place of the law. We allow the law to continue. But what do we do? We offer psychological intervention. So counseling is brought to the perpetrator and the victim to holistically. The only time you'll see Sikha Spisi publicly talking, I talk of what I stand for and I believe in. Full stop. No. But of course, it is very repeal, and yes, you repeal. And I'll speak because the case number nine, it's verified, then you repeal, and it's nonsense and it must stop. Does that mean I'm exposing him? No. That's the problem. You see to respond instead of understanding. <laughs> we have cases of widows, young widows. You women. You see, I'm a sister's in law. Who shame? <laughs> Sister in law, because most of the time, Tina's back. Thank you very much. Tina Lama is shut by your own shut in Iowa. Master shut in the MC. We inherit the sister in law, most of them by king. Back at the life, I'm a shut in the self, or if I shut in there, they are living in horrible marriage. 
marriages and then you want to come and control my marriage because they are frustrated. Women! Women! So are you saying to me, because it's just me, see, who has just inherited of everything when a husband died and she was left in the street, when another woman comes saying, I'm going through the same, I must turn a blind eye? No. Generally. government, 99.9% of the time. Mm. Mm. You know you groan like that when you are about when you're in pain. You groan more constipated. You're trying to take this thing out, but I pull you constipated. That is how SAPS is treating Iguanele Foundation. Masia, who was it? See, on our stats. It's another story. <coughs> I know right now I'm the most unwanted, unfavorable person in Johannesburg, South Africa. I've received death threats. I've received so many threats that Jesus knows of. I would phone you, Captain Boy, hang it oh, Now they want me dead. Now this, now that. But my soldier, as we are to, why? It's because this is never in the history of Johannesburg, South Africa, has somebody been bold enough to speak about gender based violence within the church? We always speak about it on smoke screen. I am just here to say today. As police women, because I believe I'm bringing to women who work within the SAPS, let's normalize Ubuntu when people come to your police stations and report cases. Let us not make it like it's an apple. I'm not going to be to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to for one hour. Hey. Ah. Hey. Why don't we make time? Yes, even in a drunken stupor, make her comfortable enough to hear what she wants to say. Yeah. We've got young girls. Yes, they are snake queens, but Shagama Wibangana, the longest nails, the longest whatever. When they come to your police stations to say, My boyfriend will rape me, you are the very ones as police women to say, But what do you expect us our rape who saw? You are the very ones to say, Mushab, hold on. Eh, Captain Maman Krabona. Oh, no, I don't again. I hold him up with a peel and a mushab. So then you ask yourself, why women fear to come to the South African police service? Somebody said to me, Sita, why are people coming to Wadala Foundation and not the law? I said, because the law has failed them. You are the very police women when cases are issued, a woman comes open a case and issue a case. Magatia Puma, the perpetrator comes in, Ugnigis man, you can't drink. Or the next thing you start dating a perpetrator. No, I'm not speaking in all me. It's things I've been exposed to as Squadilla Foundation has been birthed. What's that you have been doing? Next thing, perpetrator will say, Tandana, not knowing who he Gotcha. We're sitting with cases in our office where we are currently investigating Nguti. What happened to these cases? Why were they opened, but they never saw the sun? What happened? Woe unto you if you took a cold drink and a bribe for that case. Because the One Eleven Foundation is here and we are just going to expose that. It is not fashionable. That is why I say to people, if you are doing something wrong, stop it. Stop it. If you are a police officer, if we poison, go to your superior and say, please, I need rehabilitation. Take time off. Go sort yourself out. So that the psychologist can find out what is the root cause. Why would you take a macho? Because you'll find you would maybe are living in severe poverty, but not being able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be
So for you to maintain your lifestyle, free of water is allowed over Georgia. If you are a police woman and your issue is not taking cases seriously, I implore you today as a police woman to say, go to your superior and ask for time off. Book yourself into a psychiatric hospital. You need help. I'm being serious. You need help. Because the next thing, when we start getting feedbacks about cases that were opened and nothing happened to them, and when we publicly talk about them, you very police woman is also to see. No, no, I'm destroy you. Your root foundation is wrong. So take time off. Bear a part to take leave. We are looking at second that you are not okay. How long? How long will men, women, and children continue to suffer at the hands of police who are not doing their correct jobs because of a machojo and whatever favors? For how long? to the Lord What must we do? Black child, you're on your own. What must we do? Yes, you may wear the police uniform. But within that woman, you are a girl. You are a sister. You are a mother. You are someone's wife. But to the speed, it's a you when someone else's mother comes or someone else's child comes to report a case. We are once going to this. No, I'm giving more love. I want us to make a commitment as women. I may not be a police woman. But we need to make commitments to say it stops today. We need to normalize the culture of when people like Sifa and foundations come to you and say, we are the voice to the voiceless. We've had experiences of a poisa and just plaza. No, Sita, we are working with you. Yeah, comrade, nice job, nice job. When Sita is gone, uh, hey, Captain Mang Mangunka Kese, Bona Huruetsa Gayon. Ready? So I want to say thank you for Captain Mahoa. Thank you to the SAPS here. General, thank you for inviting us here. Because as one of the foundation, we sit with cases and we don't know what to do with them at times. We are grateful for this platform because you guys are police. I mustn't feel unsafe because we never found a wound on our pants because, hey, you see. Them. I must be able to say, no, I know this captain, this sergeant, this what, this what. So that must phone us into Wadele Foundation. Action happens. We run, not just for Wadele Foundation, where you start making sure that cases are followed up till the end. For everybody holistically within the community. And it starts with us. In King Anguti, you don't know pain. You've never experienced pain at a close pro proximity. Hey. So it's easy for you to go and net matana in Ganza Bana We say no justice, no peace. And we will not turn a blind eye, not in our lifetime. And definitely not in our name. We need to be real. Police women, this is a challenge to you. It's not fashionable to wear the badge, to wear the uniform. We poise the country trusts you, and you are you are happy because when Zotoli George and every day, the bloods, the voices of all the GBV victims that have come through you is in your hands. Because as a police woman, you have failed us. You have failed us. So as you're celebrating this police Mother's Day or this police event, take today, Uguti, something must change. Something must change. We can't always eat strawberries and ice cream. Sometimes we have to eat the fire itself and say, yes, I'm trying to my church, but from now on, I'm stopping that. I'm doing the right thing. How honorable is that? Enough is enough. No justice, no peace.